What's up everyone, it's your girl Brain Shanae and today I have a very overdue unboxing that I need to unbox. I've had it for a couple months now and it's about time that I unboxed it. A lot of people have already seen this unboxing from other amazing booktubers but I want to do this unboxing because everybody does it differently and I want to do this unboxing for my subscribers and for my supporters. So without further ado, the unboxing that I know is overdue is Alcrate and I believe this is the January box. Um, that came out this year. So let's go ahead and get started. So I've already got it cut a little bit open here, sort of. There we go. So when you open it, this is what it looks like. Here's that. And then here is the inside of the box. And this will reveal the theme of January. So it says, I'll create. And then this is what it looks like. That's beautiful artwork. And the theme is Vengeance Will Be Mine. And this is a spoiler card, which I'll be referencing um, when I do or look at the items that we have in the box. So here is that. And then let's go ahead and get started. Ooh, so the first thing I see is the Cricket Kingdom um, and their socks. So I haven't read the books. I have both of the books right here. I have the special edition and the other book right here. And I haven't read them yet. And I know I need to get to them. But these are the the socks that come with it. It says, out of print books uh, worn well. It's Grishaverse Cricket Kingdom. It's unisex, extra small. So hopefully it will fit my big feet. I wear size 11s and women's. So hopefully they fit. It says unisex, so I'm sure. But let me see who made these because these feel really comfortable. They feel really nice and soft too. So let me see if I can find out who created these amazing socks. So it says, when you're sneaking around the streets of Ketterdom, be sure to stay warm with these awesome exclusive socks. They are officially licensed by Out of Print using the gorgeous cover art of the collector's edition of Crooked Kingdom by, Le uh, by Lee Bardugo. So here is the socks. Ooh, there you go. Next thing I see looks like a banner. Ooh, Gray Mountains, Mount Gurabad, Isol. Oh, okay, so this is, oh no. Uh-oh, something happened. Hopefully I can fix it. <laughs> it like, something happened where it just went off the thing. Let me see if I can get it back on here. That's sad if it doesn't. Okay, all right, here we go. Eh. All right, so here's a banner. So this is from Lord of the Rings. It says, it says like the Grey Mountains. It says Desolation of Smog. Um, it says uh, Mountains of Mirkwood, Old Forest Road. Um, it has the Great River and it has Misty Mountains, the Edge of the Wild. Um, it pretty much has that. So this is the banner that comes in that is in the box. And let me see who had had created this banner because this this is nice. I actually like it. So. Oh, this is from The Hobbit, not Lord of the Rings, but same thing. But it says, we're excited to be launching another year of exclusive enamel pins in our boxes. We we knew we had to include a new pin banner for you to display them on. We teamed up with the amazing In The Reads to create this banner inspired by The Hobbit. Oh, so I can put my enamels on there. I still have some space with my other enamel that I got last year from them. But this is definitely something that I will definitely use when I have more pins. So here is that. Next thing I see is, oh, a candle. It says, a quart of candles, Reaper. Uh, the, the smell is mulberry plum spruce. And this is Alcrate exclusive. Oh my God, it smells amazing. And it's purple and it has glitter. So that's pretty cool. And then here is the candle right there. And let's see who created this this gourd, this like deliciously smelling candle because it smells so good. Um, let me see. Mm, gotta find out because I like this candle. Okay, it says ignite your inner magic with this gorgeous exclusive candle inspired by the Magi from Children of Blood and Bone. Okay, um, they were handmade by a quart of candles, and we sent out an assortment of five different candles. Which one did you receive? So I have the Reaper in which I believe in the test on her website, I am a Reaper as well. So that's pretty cool. So I have the Reaper. So I'll put that up here. And then next thing I see looks like a mug. So this is the box. 
And then it says right here, it says, welcome to the welcome to the order. Join your fellow wizards and rise up against the ministry. We hope drinking your favorite hot beverage helps you stay alert while training in secret. You'll need all your wits about you. Design with love by artist Kara Kozik, dishwasher and microwave safe. So let's go ahead and open this. So you know this is, of course, a Harry Potter mug, which I have a, like three of them already. And then all they all display the different years that Harry Potter attended. You know, the school, Hogwarts. So let's see. It's nicely wrapped. All right, so here is the mug. So it gives you displays right here. It looks beautiful. That looks gorgeous. Look at that. Wow, I love this. Like, it's amazing. I like this so much. But here's that. Sorry about the glare. But yeah, so this is makes, I think, my fourth mug from her. And I love Kara Kozik's. Um, I love her, her paintings and her mugs. Like, I haven't even used them because I just like, they're so pretty. I don't want to mess them up, but I know I need to. But I just like collecting them because I believe I have the first three. I think this is the fourth or fifth one. I'm not sure. So let me see what it says about the, the mug. It says, okay, take a stand and rise up against the ministry. You'll definitely want a caffeinated drink when you're up late training with the DA. We hope you love this exclusive wizard uh, ceramic mug in our ongoing series from artist Kara Kozik. So yeah, so there is the mug, the gorgeous mug. I need to find somewhere to put it. Um, probably put it with my other mugs that I have from her. And then next we have this little pouch here and let's see what's inside it let's see oh it says you've got words in your soul so it looks like this is like a nice little mirror oh so it's a mirror and you can also put like your pills or anything in here or your vitamins in here so there's that and then that's what it, this is what it says right here and let's see who made this right this gorgeous little pocket mirror it says this exclusive this exclusive pocket mirror with secret storage would be a rather useful tool for any acolyte of the red church especially in the hall of troops inspired by nevernight and designed just for you by team alcrate so i haven't even read nevernight but i have the first two books so i need to get on that but i'm just not motivated to read it yet i do apologize but yeah so i do love this pocket mirror that was cool so that's that and then we have the enamel pen that we receive every month and this it says blood to blood name to name bone to bone so that's what this navel this enamel pen is right here and for the enamel pen let's see what it says it says for this month's exclusive enamel pen we worked with forensics and flowers to create to create a design inspired by the main characters from um, scavenge the stars you'll have to read the book to discover how these items come into play so there is that so I'm guessing that is the book that's in this box but there is the enamel pen. All right, last but not least is the book itself. And every month with the, with the subscription of the Owl Crate, um, their covers are exclusive. So they're gonna be different from the original books that you just receive in Barnes and Nobles or bookstore. But, and it also comes with a letter from the author, which I'll be reading as well. But it, the book is called The Sca uh, Scavenge the Stars by Tara Sim. Here's the cover. And then when you, and it's gray, and then we, oh, when you take the cover off, it's blue, and it has the nice silver uh, foiling. And then also with these, with the Alcrate books, they're also signed by the author. So here's also the signature from the author. And then I haven't heard much about this book, but let me see, it looks very interesting. Let me go ahead and read the description. It says, when Amaya re rescues a mysterious stranger from drowning, she fears her rash actions have earned her a longer sentence on the Deptor ship where she's been held captive for years. Instead, the man she saved, offer saved offers her unimaginable riches, a new identity, and the promise of ret retribution against Komen Cayman Mercada, the powerful merchant who ruined Amaya's family and stole the life she, had one she once had. Kayo Mercada, heir to his father's empire, is well acquainted with the grit beneath the grandeur of Marais. In this opulent coastal city-state where the corrupt slum king pockets gold from, gold from desperate gamblers and deadly ash fever spreads like rot, 
Kyle is desperate to shake his um, dis disreputable, dis disreputable past. But when his sister falls ill, Kyle will do anything to save her life, even if it means taking a deal with the Slum King. As Amaya and Kale become entangled in a dangerous game of deception, one of them set on protecting the Mercado, fam Mercado family at any cost and the other set on destroying it. They find themselves unexpectedly drawn to one another, but the more Amaya discovers about her past, the more she realizes she must trust no one. The first novel in a sweeping fantasy duology, this gender swap retelling of the Count of Mount Con Mount Con excuse me, the Count of Monte Cristo is packed with high stakes, adventure, romance, dueling identity, dueling identities, and breathtaking betrayals, all brilliantly woven together by acclaimed author Tara Sl uh, Tara Sim. So this sounds very interesting and even on the back it says revenge. It was a simple word when taken when spoken out loud but it was so much bigger like the hidden city under the atoll. It was a word of fire and blood of a knife's whisper and the priming of a pistol. They would all pay. So that's what it says on the back. But this seems really interesting. It doesn't seem like a very long read um, but I haven't heard much about it so who knows I might actually get a hold of this and read this when I have a when I can because I have so much books on my TBR that I need to get a hold of and read. It's for crazy. But then we have the author's note and here's what's on the note right there. And it says, Dear Reader, there's nothing quite like a good revenge story, is there? This book, much like its inspiration, The Count of Monte Cristo, is all about revenge. When everything is taken from you, what option option left is there than to go after the man who let's see who ruined your life. But this isn't just a story of revenge. It's also about family, grief, and losing one's way. It's about righting your wrongs and reaching out for help when you need it. It's about picking yourself back up and hoping the next day will be better, to find the power to make it better. It's about a girl and a boy who want, more than anything, to, to be loved. It's a story about standing up to the injustices of the world and saying no more. Love, um, Tara Sim. So I like reading these notes from the author because they can be very inspiring to me, but I also feel like they can also be inspiring to you as well. Um, so there is the note. And then the next thing we have is the little booklet that comes with it. So it has like the crossword puzzle and everything and also gives you, a also shows you the difference between the exclusive cover and the regular cover. But I think I actually like the regular cover instead of the Alcrate cover. But tell me what you think down below, which one you would prefer. But I like the original better than Alcrate. And then of course the crossword puzzle. And then it also gives you books. Like if you like this book, there's recommendations for other one like it. And then gives you more a sneak peek of what you receive um, the next month um, in the next month's box. Um, so let's see. And it says other releases we're excited about this month. The Night Country by Melissa Albert, Dark and Deepest Red, uh, Infinity Sun, Woven in Midnight, and Lucky Collar. And so there is a little thing right here that gives you a sneak peek of what the next box would be, which is for February. And it says the theme of the February box is A Power Within. Flip for a sneak peek. So there is that. And then it says every February, February box will include a deck of playing cards inspired by Throne of Glass, which I have not read. It says, P.S. If you're already a subscriber, your account will automatically renew. Yay. So there is that. It's a sneak peek. But there you go, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. It was a long time coming, like I said, because this it is May the 7th today. And I just did an unboxing for the box of January, January from Alcrate. But if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Also hit the subscribe button and that bell to be notified when I upload more videos in the future. But thank you so much, you guys. See ya.